morning dear students and a warm welcome to all of you again do you remember which lesson we have started with yes we have started with the lesson number work and we have revised what you have learned in the previous class today we are going to uh, move little ahead okay before that i would just ask you a question do you know how much a car a four wheeler can uh, cost around around what what can be the cost of a car yes you are right it is more than 4 lakh 5 lakh you know 4 lakh 6 lakh 7 lakh okay do you know what is a lakh no you are not aware of what is lakh 1 lakh 4 lakh right so today you are going to learn about what is meant by lakh and lakhs of rupees is that clear students so let's begin with the uh, lakh topic lakh is six digit number and you have already studied up to five digit number do you know which is the largest five digit number like for example if you take in a uh, one digit number which is the largest one digit number it is 9 correct then uh, when you uh, take two digit number which is the largest two digit number 99 right if you take three digit number which is the largest uh, digit number uh, that is 999 Four digit, it is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Therefore, five digit will be ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Okay, ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine is the largest largest six digit number. Okay, largest six digit. now fine now up to five digit number you have learned and now you know that even 99999 is the largest five digit number that means if you just add one to it that means it will be little more higher correct or it will be much more larger as compared to this number if you just add one to it let's do it what can happen after adding 1 to 99999 okay so 9 plus 1 equal to 10 carry 1 so 9 plus 1 again is equal to 10 carry 1 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 carry 1 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 carry 1 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 now if you just see these are five digit right 1 2 3 4 5 if you see over here you are getting 1 2 3 4 5 six digit numbers so what is this six digit number okay so now it has crossed the level of 10000 it has 10000 has five digit and largest five digit is 99999 So if you just add one number to it, one digit to it, you are getting, you know, six digit number. So this six digit number is called as lakh. Okay, this is called as lakh. Now how you are supposed to read it? Here this zero is in units place. Okay, this uh, zero is in tens place. This is in hundreds place. This zero is in ten thousand. Uh, sorry, uh, thousand place. Okay. This is in ten thousand. And now this the newly introduced uh, place is lakh. Okay. So this is the place of lakh. So if you see over here, there are altogether six digit in this number. so that sixth one the last one over here is coming in the place of lakh right so we have now learned uh, that a six digit number is called as uh, lakh okay or lakh is called as six digit number fine now what we have to do is that 
once you have understood that in one lakh or in a lakh you have six digits now we have to learn to read and write so let's uh, try to read and write six digit numbers now let's learn to write uh, sorry read the six digit number so here i have written some numbers we have to try to read them and then we will learn to write also fine now first let us see that uh, uh, let us count the number of digit okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 correct these are also 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so altogether there are six digit in each of these numbers we have to learn now to read okay now here here you see this is unit place tens place hundreds place thousands place ten thousand and a lakh okay so we will start reading this number by saying this as 2 lakh this is in place of 10,000 so since there is 3 in 10,000 place it will become 30,000 so 30,000 plus 5 becomes 35,000 okay so 2 lakh 35,000 because 5 also is in 1000 place so instead of saying 30 uh, thousand and then five thousand we say it as thirty five thousand seven hundred and five okay so in uh, tens place there is zero so we cannot say this number we cannot read this number as seventy five we will read it as seven hundred and five so this number finally I'll read it to land thirty five thousand seven hundred and five okay so to land thirty five thousand seven hundred and five next this second number let's try to read it here if you see in lakhs place there is 8 in 10,000 place there is 0 in 1000 place there is 0 then uh, in hundreds place there is 300 then in tens place there is 60 and 3 okay so how you will read this will you read it as uh, 8 lakh uh, 3000 no you will read it as 8 lakh 363 okay so since here there are zeros what you will read it as you read it as 8 lakh directly 363 because here thousands place uh, 10,000 as well as thousand place there is zero so you read it as 8 lakh 363 finally the last number that is 3 lakh now you can see here in place of 10,000 there is zero so you will not say this as 3 lakh 70,899 70 in place of 10,000 that means 10 multiplied by 7 will become 70. So here in 10's place, 10,000's place there is 0 that means 0 10,000's are there. So you will read what directly 7,000. 3 lakh 7,899. Is that clear students? Now let's try to write them. Okay for writing you have to know the spellings. Now since you have learned how to read them you can easily write them if you know the spellings correctly. So let's try to write them now. So you will read it as 2 lakh. Lakh spelling is L-A-K-H 30 T-H-I-R-T-Y 5 thousand T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D thousand then 7 hundred and 5 8 lakh 300 uh, uh, sorry 363 okay and the last number is 3 lakh 7899 so this is how you're supposed to read the numbers now uh, when uh, in words it will be given you are supposed to write, uh, write the number so let's uh, try to learn now writing the numbers now let's learn to write the six digit number so writing the six digit number here i have written a number in words we have to write them in uh, digits now is that clear so let's see what is given here and then we will try to write so six digit first what i will do i will go on writing zeros one two three four five and six and when the number comes in that particular place we are going to change that zero with the uh, number given here so now this is units place tens place uh, hundred thousand ten thousand and then lakh 
okay so in lakh what is given 8 lakh is given so i will replace this zero with 8 okay so i will replace this zero with 8 fine then now let's see 8 lakh 9000 so 9000 and you know 99000 there is lot of difference 99 will be in 99000 will be in 10,000's place and 9,000 will be in 1,000 place. So, 9,000 is given. That means in 10,000 place, we do not have any number. So, therefore, we will keep this 0 as it is. Directly, we will have to write in the place of 1,000 as 9,000. Okay. So, you write it as 8 lakh. Now, it has become 9,000. Because in, in, uh, in the place of 10,000, there is no number. So, therefore, we will write or we will keep this zero as it is here. Then, next data we will see. 43. 43, that means 40 comes in the place of tens and 3 comes in the place of unit. So, therefore, here we are going to write 4 and we are going to write here 3. Right. So, now the number what is given is already made. Okay. So, now we can read it as 8,9043. Correct student? 8,9043. In place of 10,000 there is no number and even in the case of in the place of 100 there is no number. So, we have placed zeros in these two places. Okay. So, we cannot write this number as 8 lakh 9040 okay 9000 or uh, 9043 like this we cannot write this is absolutely wrong okay this is completely wrong why because if you see now 8 lakh 9043 if you are if you are writing like this what is this actual number it has it is it has become only four digit not six digit we want what Six digit because already it is mentioned here lakh. So, therefore, we will not write in this manner. This is completely wrong. If you see, this is a four digit number and four digit number starts with 1000. So, this will become what? 8943. So, if you write like this, you will get a zero. So, you have to see that when lakh is given, you have to understand that it has become a six digit number is that clear students so this is how you are supposed to write the uh, uh, number six digit number so now here you first of all always remember in our indian system uh, we are supposed to put the comma even international system we are supposed to put comma but in indian system after uh, you know uh, uh, after the three places i mean not after the three places so, uh, here you have to count 1, 2, 3 first like this and then you have to put comma here, fine. And then uh, after you uh, put uh, uh, with the first 3 digit, then later on always with the 2 digits in between, okay. Always remember like this. First will be 3 digits, then will be 2 digits, then 2 digits and so on. Only thing in the first 3 digit you will be putting comma here, later on it will be uh, to two digits. So, this also you have to remember whenever you are writing any number. Is that clear student? So, this is how you are supposed to write. Let us take another example and try to write. Now, let us take another example. Here it is 4,20,500. 4,20,500. Again, it is a six digit number since here there is leg. So, first what we will do? We will write zeros. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. Now, we will change these zeros into the whatever number is given. So, let us uh, do first one. 4 lakh. Okay. 4 lakh. That means in place of uh, lakh what you are having you are having 4 fine then uh, <coughs> 20,000 that means 20,000 is this place 20 uh, means 2 10,000 is 20,000 so therefore 20,000 will come here where here here okay 20,000 so in place of 1000 there is nothing given okay so directly 20,000 is given Ten, uh, in place of 1000, there is no number. So, what you will keep? You will keep this as 20. Okay. Or 2 and 0. In place of 1000, there is no number. So, you will keep it 0 as it is. Then, 
in in the case of 500 you have 500 in the case of 100 you have 500 there is no tens place there is no units place so how you are supposed to write 420000 is 420500 so now only you have to put the comma first with the three digits then with the two digits uh, in the indian system so this is how you are supposed to write okay now let's uh, you know try to take uh, one one example or two two example from the problem set number 3 and uh, then i will wind up with the video now let's do problem set number 3 i have i have taken two examples here okay so uh, the first question is read the numbers and write them in words okay what you have to do read the numbers and write them in words now to read first you need to count the number of digits okay so let's first count the number of digits so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that means there are 6 6 digit in each of these numbers so that means it has a lakh place okay so lakh place is there so what we are going to start with first number is 5 so what you write 5 okay 5 is in place of lakh so you will write 5 lakh fine now in place of 10,000 there is 7 so 70,000 70,000 and 5,000 so it becomes 75,000 5 lakh 75,000 5 lakh 75,000 now if you see in hundreds place there is 0 but in tens place there is 10 and in units place there is no number so directly you will call this as 10 so in place of 0, 100 there is 0 so what you will say 5 lakh 75,000 directly 10 5 lakh 75,000 and 10 ok 5, 5 lakh 75,000 and and 10. So this is how you are supposed to read as well as write in words. Let's take second example. Now this I have taken randomly from your exercise uh, that is question number 1. So uh, these are from uh, the same um, question number 1. Randomly I have taken. Now let's take the second example. Here 4 is there in next place. There is 0 in 10,000 place, in uh, thousands place there is 3, in hundreds place there is 0, in uh, tens place also there is 0 uh, and this is 5 in units place. How you are supposed to read? So wherever numbers are there in that particular place that only you are going to write here. So what you are going to write here? Here you are going to write 4 lakh, 4 lakh. In place of 1000 there is 3. So you will write 4 lakh. 3000. 3000. 4 lakh. 3000. And 5. Directly and 5. Because hundreds place and tens place there are 2 zeros here. So therefore what you are going to say? 4 lakh. 3005. So this is how you are supposed to read the number and write them in words like this. Is that clear students? So you are supposed to do this exercise that is problem set number 3 for your homework. The first question. Let's go for the second question that is now uh, you know in uh, words it is given we are supposed to write them in uh, numbers. Now is that clear? We will start. Second question is read the numbers and write them in figures. Okay, so you have to write them in numbers now. Okay, words they are given, we are supposed to write in figures. So let's uh, write as I have mentioned to you. You can start now instead of writing 000. If you have become familiar, you can easily write now. Now, 1 lakh. So that means in place of lakh, there is 1. Okay. So, 35,000. So, that means in 10,000 place there is 3. 30 means 3 it will start with and along with that 5 is said. That means 35,000 it is said. So, 1 lakh 35,000 800. Okay, 8 in hundreds place there is 8 and 55. 50 in place of tens 
and a 5 in place of unit. So, this will be your answer. Okay. 1,35,855 is your answer. So, you can see how easily we can write the 6 digit numbers. Now, uh, here next uh, question we will take 9,9,099. So, we first we will write uh, of the 9 lakh as 9 lakh then uh, 9 lakh 9,000. It is not so 99,000. So, 90 9000 if it would have been said and it would have been like this fine but then there is no uh, you know in uh, in the 10000 place there is no number so what you are going to write you are going to write here zero so 9 lakh 9099 99 okay 99 is not 100 so in place of 100 you will put what zero so this will be your answer so anyhow you can try to write as i have mentioned to you the previous method first you write six digit uh, six zeros and then just go on placing the numbers and then now here also it is very easy okay some of them might write like this nine lakh ninety nine thousand and nine ninety nine so this will become what four digit again so the answer will actually is 9999 if you go to see so this is wrong okay so whatever data is given you have to place or whatever number whatever places are given at the same place you are supposed to write the number otherwise it will become wrong like this okay it should be six digit when it is said leg you should remember that is six digit that means six numbers should be there or six digit should be there okay if you uh, make from six digit four digit then your answer will be wrong and you will get a big zero so you have to be very careful while writing the numbers so uh, for today only this much next time we are going to i'm going to introduce you the seven digit number so what you're supposed to do your for your homework is that you're supposed to solve problem set number three just try the title first, uh, you know, um, introduction to six, uh, six digit number, like that you write, introducing six digit numbers and then you write uh, directly the problem set number three. Okay, I am going to send the answer, but first you need to write or first you need to solve on your, then later on you can check the answers when I send. Thank you dear students.